So let's understand first topic. What do we mean by brand? Brand is a name, a term, a sign, a symbol or just a design used to identify the products of one firm and to differentiate them from competitive offerings. It can be words, letters or symbols that make up a name. The benefits of branding being it's used to identify and distinguish the firm's offering from those of its competitors. Originally it helped trace the sources of the guilt producers. In modern era it makes it easier to identify all the products from one particular company. Having said that, let's see what are the reasons for branding. Well, firstly, it helps the companies in launching of new products. Second, it's an instrument of sales promotion in the market where stiff competition exists. Third, it facilitates easy advertisements and publicity. Next, it creates special consumer preference over a product. Next, sales can be easily increased just by the use of brand names. Next one. It gets immediate attention of the buyers with regards to the brand name which has already captured the minds of the buyers and it helps to differentiate the goods of those from that of a competitor as already said and finally it ensures standard quality and satisfaction to the buyers on the name of brand name. So let's look at various terminologies with relating to brand. What really is brand name? The part of the brand which can be vocalized and utterable is called as the brand name. For example, Bata Shoe. What is branding? The process by which a product is branded is called as branding. And brand mark is the part of the brand which can be recognized but not utterable, such as any particular symbol, a design or distinctive coloring or lettering. Next being brand awareness. Well, your product is the first that comes to the mind in a certain product category. That's called as brand awareness. For example, when we say jeans, if Levi's is the first thing which comes in to your mind, that's called as brand awareness. When we say Walkman, Sony, running shoes, Nike, that's called as brand awareness. Next being brand recognition. That again means awareness, loyalty, quality, emotion. That is, customers remember your brand. Next being brand preference or loyalty. The degree to which your consumers are committed to further purchases of your particular brand products is called as brand preference. For example, choosing your brand over all the other brands offering the same or similar product. And finally, brand insistence. Willing to search for it, that is, if they do not find the brand that they want, they are not ready to use a substitute instead of it. And brand equity, this values of a brand's overall strength in the market. Next point being trademark. A brand that has been given exclusive legal protection in the name of no, name or design and it cannot be imitated or copied is called as trademark. And finally, a generic brand name. A brand name over which the original owner has lost exclusive claim because all offerings in the associated class of products have become generally known by the brand name. Usually, this happens to the first or the leading brand. For example, today Surf has become a generic name. People say, I want to buy Surf instead of saying detergent. Similarly, Xerox is used to mean photocopying, whereas Xerox is not a particular process, it's just a particular company which does not even exist anymore. Having said that, let's see what are the features of a good brand. A brand should suggest something about the product or the purpose, quality, benefit, use or action of the product. Next, it should be simple, short and easy to pronounce and remember. It should be easy to advertise and be identified. It should not be offensive. It should create a good image and also it should not be out of date. Having said that, let's look at the various types of brands which are available. First being an individual brand. A firm may decide upon a policy of adopting distinctive brands for each type of product. For example, Surf Excel powder, Surf Excel soap, etc. 
Second being a family brand. A family name is limited to one line of products. That is, the term family brand refers to one brand name which a firm adopts for a variety of products. For example, Johnson & Johnson is a common name used for the entire baby products or Amul, a common name for all the milk products. Next being a company brand. When a firm manufactures many products, this particular type of brand name is used. For example, ITC, Wipro, Tata, etc. Next being a combination device. Products have individual names and the company brands to indicate the firm producing them. For example, Taj Hotels, Titan, Tanishq, etc. And finally, the private or middleman's brand. Here, the brands are owned and controlled by the middleman rather than the manufacturer. The manufacturer introduces the product under the distributor's brand name. Generally, movies and music industry follow this kind of methodology. And finally, let's understand what are the various kind of brand names which are available. First being a descriptive name. It includes all words that describe the particular product. For example, Pizza Hut or Burger King. They automatically, when we hear it, we know what is the product all about. This kind of branding is called as descriptive name. Second being a suggestive name, wherein the name suggests something about the function of the product. For example, Band-Aid, Quick Fix, etc. Next being arbitrary name. It is a name which neither relates to the product nor to the producer. Example, Camel or Apple or Blackberry, etc. And finally, metaphorical names, which rely on a metaphor, borrowing meaning from one context and applying it to another. For example, Dove, Firefox, Jaguar, etc.